poet, writer, and an internationally acclaimed communication specialist, Prasoon Joshi exemplifies the rare breed of creativity and leadership. Chairman of Magan Asia Pacific and CEO, Chief Creative Officer of Magan India, an MSc MBA by qualification, he goes beyond his defined roles and uses his artistic ability to create unique content. His creativity and leadership has helped build many successful brands. He has also represented the country and garnered glory for India at many international forums. The first Asian to be invited as the jury president of Titanium and Integrated Lions at International Khan Festival, honored at the World Economic Forum as a young global leader. Prasoon's deep understanding of India's culture and language and the ability to connect with international sensibility is widely acclaimed. This reflects in his many significant, socially relevant campaigns. Malnutrition, polio eradication, women empowerment, Ministry of Tourism, Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, and Project Pani. हम हार नहीं मानेंगे जय तो जय तो भारतम कैंपेन्स फॉर सोशल अवेयरनेस इन द पैंडेमिक टाइम्स आज बहुत जरूरी है एक एहसास सोचना उनके बारे में जिनकी बदौलत अब तक है सांस Prasoon is equally well renowned for his unparalleled work in the world of poetry. Sharm aa rahi hai na us samaj ko jisne uske janm par khul ke jashn nahi manaya. Songwriting and cinema. Rehna tu hai jaisa tu. He has emerged as one of the most talented and evocative voices in the country in today's India. Since his first published book at the age of just 17 years. He has kept the flame of poetry alive with his fourth book of poetic songs collection, The Sunshine Lanes. Through his writings in films like Phir Milenge, Tare Zameen Par, Rang De Basanti, Neerja, मनी करने का देश से है प्यार तो हर पल ये कहना चाहिए फना चांद से फारिश जो करता हमारी देता वो तुमको बता ब्लैक भाग मिल्खा भाग पर मिल्खा सिंह है किधर ही हैज रीकिंडल्ड द फेथ दैट वन कैन गिव कंस्ट्रक्टिव डायरेक्शन टू द सोसाइटी through high caliber work in the popular genre Zinda hai to from popular awards like film fair screen ifa to the coveted national award for special honor at the house of lords he has also been conferred the prestigious padma shri award by the honorable president of india prasoon joshi thank you uh Uh, for that introduction that was very generous and uh, i'm humbled by that uh you know i when i was requested to be here and uh, i felt it, uh, i'm very fortunate to be part of such an important day of uh, your life today all the students uh because this is the milestone this is a day you will always remember i wish we were uh i was present physically there and we could chat and talk and look 
in each, into each other's eyes. But uh, uh, this is, these are difficult times, unprecedented times. And uh, I'm happy that still we are uh, at least uh, getting to meet each other and I'm getting to share my thoughts with you. I can only share my thoughts uh, because I believe that we all have our own learning process. We all as individuals have our own learning process and, and we, uh, we, we keep on at that journey. So congratulations uh, on this very, very important day of your life. Uh, as I said, I'm extremely fortunate that we get an opportunity, uh, you know, and uh, to, to be here. And you have been extremely fortunate that you have uh, uh, been able to learn from uh, such fine teachers. Uh, tomorrow is the teacher's day, as we know. So uh, today I want to take this opportunity and also thank all the teachers I have learned from in my life who have, uh, you know, shaped me and not only in college, but beyond that. And uh, a true teacher, you have a great tradition of Guru Shishya Parampara in, in this country. We really know what the value of teachers um, is in, in our life. And we cherish that. We also know a true teacher wants you to be ultimately free on your own journey. He wants to be free of the, even him, himself so that you can go out there in the world and make a difference. But one thing I would like to tell you that even today I feel like a student. Learning never stops. So though it is an important milestone in your life, but never think that learning stops. In fact, life is teaching you lessons every day. And you have to be open and receptive to keep learning uh, and, and never stop that. Because if you feel that you have learned it all, uh, there'll be a stagnation. As you live, you learn. And you learn every day. And that brings me to, you know, seeking. That's why, you know, I believe that life is like a search engine. So, you know, a search engine values the intent of you. What are you looking for? And that's what your search is. If you, if you have to work on something, you have to work on what you look for. If you step out of, step out in the world, you'll find all, all things are there. It's about, it's, it's what you look for. Like, like you go into a search engine and look for. You've, you've got everything. There is a sea of knowledge there. And how you approach it, how you, from which portal you get in there, is up to you. So it's important to know yourself, to know your intent, what you're looking for, and keep seeking. It's what a chai, what zaruri hai kyam dhude, talash kare. And seek well. I'd written, you would have heard the song in Tarizami Parai, I'd written that. Tujh mein agar pyaas hai, barish ka ghar bhi paas hai. Tu dhup hai jam se bikhar, tu hai nadi yo be khabar. To wo mein, what I was trying to say there is, agar tum mein pyaas hai, if you have that in you, that seek, you, if you are, you are seeking the search, you will find it. So it's important to seek and never stop learning as I said. And if you develop an eye to see great things, you'll start seeing it. small things will, will start inspiring you, around you. It's very important that subconsciously what seed you are sowing. Hum kehte hai ki sapne humare adhikar mein nahi hai. Lekin aisa nahi hai. जो सपने भी आप देखते हैं वो किसी जमीन में उगते हैं वो जमीन आपकी है द फर्टाइल लैंड वे द ड्रीम्स स्प्राउट इज योर्स उस जमीन को तैयार करना प्रिपेयरिंग योर सेल्फ दैट हैजू अ फर्टाइल लैंड 
what dreams will sprout there that's in your hand never feel they are random they are never random in fact a lot of people think that what they become later in life is happen randomly actually somewhere deep down they have they have wanted it they have probably desired some parts of it and so be very careful with what you dream because gradually your energies are going to go there and your subconscious is going to guide you to us so it's important that we work on what we desire what you dream what we seek as i told you as you use the search engine and you know people will tell you you know what about role models you know whom should we follow i think it's very important to choose your role models because they some subconsciously impact you and it's not important that your role model is a celebrity if somebody asks me today i always talk about my grandmother who was a uh, 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 not literate when uh, she lost her husband and she was only 18 years old and that time she started studying and i saw her retiring as a principal of a school what i noticed in her all through her life is what inspired me what i saw in her was she she had this desire to be self reliant main kisi par bojh nahi banna chahta woh simple ek gaon ki mahila thi unki soch bhi bahut simple thi but usme there was an anchor she had and that anchor i saw her you know that anchor guiding her all through her life that she wanted to be self reliant and that became her guiding principle and guiding force in life that took her that saw her through all through her life the second thing i saw in her she always wanted to be useful to someone else how can i do something so all these things made a character of her and she became my role model so for role model you if you have an eye if you are seeking your role models may be just next door and they are around you and you can you know choose it's not important to you know to have famous people as your as your role models and uh, it's very important that we we select our role models uh, very carefully because they tiptoe into your subconscious and they sprout they make you act so it's it, it's it's very very important another very important thing i want to share with you is at your stage when you step out into into the world after your degrees and your education you're still very confused you actually where do you want to go what you want to do uh, where which organization do you want to some of you want to, might might want to start your own business some of you want to become an artist some of you want to join bigger organizations and those dilemmas those you know jis se dwand kehte hain oh those will happen to you they are very natural and that's what i call the state of confusion now this confusion is very discomforting but you have to learn to respect this state of confusion i call it a liminal space and i often talk about it it's the space which is most fertile it's the space where in the state of confusion is a time when you are exploring you are exploring options you are you are experimenting you are trying to understand what you are never underestimate the time of confusion and never be frustrated by that that happens to everyone without that you will become robotic almost predestined this is important to examine yourself what you want and examine the world out there what is there for you there will be a, a synchronization hoga at the moment you found that synchronization the moment your vibrations are matching with what you're doing work will never look like work to you and people say have fun i mean we we 
very casually say these things, but actually it matters. When you are working, you don't, it doesn't feel, it regenerates you. You look forward to it. Because it's in sync with your vibrations. Aapki jo minutest vibrations hai, uske saath sync mein aaja. Aap subay uthte hai, to aapko man karta hai ki mein karun ye kaam karun. Tab karm mein aap karta nahi raja te. You become one with work. Work becomes you and you become work. The distance is no more there. Because there is no other. It's your manifestation of yourself. So this state of confusion might be discomforting, but you have to learn to be comfortable with this, this, this discomfort and value it. You might feel tension. And this tension, you know, makes me think about I mean, a music instrument. Think of a sitar. To produce music, you have to create tensions in the wire. Right amount of tension. If there is no tension, you see, those wires are incapable of producing music. And if it is too much of tension, they break. So that balance of tension is called musical tension. That creates melody. And that is the melody of life. So it is important to, to, to be able to find that tension. I, I remember, you know, I was writing this song, uh, Ma, uh, Tujhe Sab Hai Pata Hai Nama. And uh, the obvious choice was to, you know, this was a separation moment, to write a separation song in the film. But I kept on, and, and I was very tense that it would be, you know, I would sound clichetic because it's all about Vicharna Milna. And it's just one day after that, I, I, I told you about the musical, musicality of tension happened to me. And uh, I sort of stepped into my, my past. And I remember my mother, when she had gone on a training program, and I was uh, left alone with, in, in the house without mom. And I suddenly felt my fears have come alive. And I wrote these lines that uh, And then I started writing my fears. And that, that, that was a song in front of me, which everybody loved and, 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 and reson resonated with. It resonated with everyone. It became almost. So it's important that we don't underestimate this state of confusion and tension and see something positive in, in, in that. Another, another point I want to share with you is humility. I think some of you might be exceptionally good. See, a society has all kinds of people. Some And not sometimes take your success too seriously. Uh, you know, I always feel the electricity and the wire are two different things. I feel I'm like a wire. I'm like a medium through which the electricity passes. So I never confuse myself as electricity. Because electricity is coming from somewhere else. I chance upon that electricity which comes and passes through me, chooses me. But I have to stay a worthy medium. The ones who have been the students of science know about good conductors. So you are a good conductor of energy. You are least resistant to a flow. So don't take your success as yours. It's collective. A lot of people, as I was talking about teachers, your, 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 your people, your friends, your relatives, we are sum total of all their contribution. So, so be humble and, and have space. You know, today, in today's world, we are becoming too over-obsessed with individual, individualistic success. 
in earlier world we had more time for others and with time with progress sometimes we are losing these values we used to have a word called unfortunate i was reading somewhere that earlier we used to use the word unfortunate if somebody did not make it that well we used to call that person unfortunate today we call the person loser now there is a difference in society the way you look at uh, you know success and failure so it's important to have compassion and space for others because the meaning of success should not be so narrowly defined that it converts you into machine the human values have to stay intact and we have to try hard that we never lose them all of us will feel that when you go out when you'll go out and work i want to do something unique but you know i'm do, i'm doing a 9 to 5 job and uh, why should i do this or this has been done before i've been repetitive i am not unique please understand you are unique you are unparalleled there is no one like you the way you are the way you will think will always be different so even the job which sounds mundane and repetitive to you you can make a difference to it because you are unique and you have a very unique way of looking at uh, things in your own way you have and when i was writing for the film rangde basanti that time a lot of these films there were many uh, films which were done on revolutionaries there were bhagat singh and and bhagat singh's life was was uh, you know portrayed in many of films but when we did it we also did the film on revolution but it was a very different take and i think uh, you could have been discouraged that that is it a me to uh, uh, project but it did not because the energies which came in together were different and that's the reason i wrote abhi abhi hua yakeen ki aag hai mujh mein kahin hui subah mein jal gaya suraj ko main nigal gaya rubaru roshni so that 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 moment you feel you, uh, whenever you will do and complete something you feel yes it carries my stamp because it will if you have genuinely done it it will it will be authentic and that's very important you have to be authentic at what you do you if you are conscious of it you will never get bored and you will always see your work as the work uh, you approach or or you in your unique your own unique style kyunki sabse sundar geet abhi tak likha nahi gaya hai aur sabse unchi udaan abhi tak li nahi gayi that's waiting to happen that's you so i would say that is that's very important and the last point i would like to make when you are talking about authenticity where does it come from authenticity authentic you comes from your first hand experiences more you experience life more wiser wiser you will become better you will become it's a constant process of chiseling yourself and that's what i call anubhut satya first hand truth experienced truth the truth which you are you do you not know bone deep the truth your subconscious knows the truth your every cell knows and that's what makes you authentic that would be you because the way you are experiencing a certain reality nobody else is you have your own vantage point you have your own way of looking at things and that make that's what would make you authentic so jo main zameen taiyar karne ki baat kar raha tha usme wo authenticity aa jati hai aur usme jo sapne aate hain wo aapke unique sapne hote hain maine likha tha ki bhai aur apne bina experience kiye wo kabhi nahi ho sakta hai it would never happen unless you have experienced it yourself इन भाग मिल का भाग एड्रिटन दांत से काट ले बिजली तार दांत से काट ले बिजली तार चबा ले तांबे की झंकार फूक दे खुद को ज्वाला ज्वाला बिन खुद जले न हो उजाला सो ऑन दीज वर्ड्स आई वुड वंस अगेन वॉन्ट टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट ऑल ऑफ यू 
I want to thank everyone from, from your organization and flame to, to invite me and to be part of such an important occasion of your life. My best wishes. Thank you. Thank you.